This film was sponsored by New York Life and its dedicated agents, proud sponsors of NFL Team Highlight Films. New York Life, the company you keep. Deep metal, it is complete to Taylor. Breaks the tackle, he'll go. 20, 15, touchdown, 49er. Come on, defense! Get him, sack him! <laughs> throw goes across the middle to Jones he's down he bumbles the ball he was already down I believe but then it's picked up by Gerard 20 15 10 5 touchdown 49ers Gerard reached in and just took it away okay that's what I'm talking about here we go we're back here we go Young drops back to throw looks downfield gonna run for He's got stereophonic sound and cinemascope vision. Boy, he is running today. Highway 101 belongs to Jerry Rice. Next exit, Hall of Fame. The road to Pasadena comes through Candlestick now, baby. Everybody and welcome to the Field of Streams, Candlestick Park, the NFC Championship game between the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. It's rainy, it's ugly, it's awful, it's perfect football weather. The 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys for the right to go to the Super Bowl. Backside pressure, he gets the ball away. Downfield. San Francisco's quest for a fifth Super Bowl victory came to an end against Dallas, but throughout a proud tradition distinguished by high achievement, setbacks such as these have inspired the 49ers to be even more determined in their pursuit of greatness. Coming off their first non-playoff campaign in 10 years, the 49ers immediately displayed their commitment to team unity in the season opener. Against the Giants, Steve Young threw a touchdown pass to Tom Rathman. Then Steve Bono replaced an injured Young while retaining number 44 as his primary target. Pass, Rathman, he might get in again. He dives into the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Bono rolling back. Backside pressure. He's got Rathman. He should get in. Touchdown, 49ers. Not one, not two, but three. Can you believe it? I can't. Tenacious defense also helped carve a 31 to 14 victory. Spins the throw, looks around. Hits 49ers, John Johnson picks it off. He's back to the 40, 35. John Johnson produced the 49ers' first regular season interception return for a touchdown since 1986. Get by Sims, 20, 10, 5, touchdown. For Two weeks later. A return to the Meadowlands proved that the 49ers were a powerful football club. Come on, club or no club. Well, I'm gonna get the job done, baby. We're clubbing to death, clubbing to death. Clubbing to death. <laughs> we got the patented club. Clubbing, clubbing to death, baby. 
The Jets were battered by a ferocious pass rush and baffled by Steve Young, who threw for two scores and ran for another in a 31-14 win. The following week, the Niners were back on the road. And in New Orleans, they had to lay down the law of the jungle. Survival of the fittest. Steve Young also showed that beating the Saints is a matter of survival of the fastest. Young drops back to throw. Some outside pressure from Swilling. He gets away, decides to run to the 25. To the 20, strikes the tackle up the middle at the one yard line. They stop him just short of a touchdown. What a great run. He split two tacklers and then juked out. A Tom Rathman finished off Young's sprint. Then ultimately it was up to the defense to preserve a hard fought 16 to 10 advantage. In a contest that would represent the season's turning point, cornerback Eric Davis answered the big play call. Now he drops back to throw, runs around, runs around. Holt almost got him, but didn't. Throws toward the end zone. It's up in the air. Intercepted. 49ers intercept the ball. 49ers have the interception and will win the ball game. In his second NFL campaign, Eric Davis, number 25, became a vital part of the defensive youth movement that also includes lineman Dennis Brown, number 96, a third-year pro, and Ted Washington, number 97, a second-year man. 1992 saw these youngsters help the defense become the league's second toughest.